21. Some good to elbow thrust to the up back. Oi Mawatsu roundhouse lunge kick to the quarterback. Takatami hand sword block to the. Shoot, never mind. 15 yards. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Bard Stories. Well, as you all know, I typically do 1989 and backwards for my reviews and discussions. But this week, we've got one from 1991. It's fall now. Football season is going. And my wife actually requested I did this one, so here it goes. From 1991, starring Scott Bakula, Jason Bateman, Sinbad, and the beautiful Kathy Ireland, Necessary Roughness. So we have the story of the Texas State Fighting Armadillos. Once the most powerful football team in the nation. But after uh, committing massive NCAA violations that resulted in everybody in the team being fired or suspended, expelled, removed, we're left with no football team and it must be rebuilt. Well, the dean of the school, Dean Elias, who absolutely hates sports apparently, is working against the school as well. He is not going to allow anybody on the team because of grades that are too poor. The team only will have 17 players. Not enough to field an offense or a defense. So we're going to have Iron Man football come back into the world. <sighs> so now we must rebuild the team. And who's going to do it? Coach Ed Gennaro, straight arrow as he's known. But we've got problems. We have a lot of problems. We don't have a quarterback. We don't have a kicker. Coach Wally, well, he's got an idea for the quarterback. And that's where we're introduced to the star of our show, Scott Bakula. Well, they do manage to go out and see Scott Bakula. And Wally manages to convince him, at 34 years old, to come back and play football. He is still eligible because he never attended because of the death of his father. And what does Mr. Blake find out? Well, he finds out at 34 years old, football's a young man's game. It's going to hurt. You're going to be sore. But it's still fun. Paul Blake also finds, well, the love interest. Miss Carter, one of the teachers there. He also runs into, well, Andre Krim, a football player from the past as well, played by Sinbad. For those of you who don't know who Sinbad is, look it up. Did some pretty damn good songs back in the 80s and early 90s. Not a bad actor either. Man, well, Mr. Blake, he convinces him to come play football as well. Misery loves company. Well, the Armadillos, they aren't doing so good in any games. They're losing, and, well, they're losing pretty bad. Remember that place kicker I talked about a little while ago? Well, Coach Wally has, he's found one. And he's found one that actually goes to their school. But this place kicker is from the world of football. Not just some ordinary uh, football soccer player. Kathy Ireland. For those who don't know who Miss Ireland is, well, sorry that you weren't alive and when she was in her prime in the late 80s and 90s, one of the most beautiful and smart women around and wish she'd have had a better career because she was kind of fun watching on show. But here she is. And people might be concerned about a woman playing football, but she definitely knows how to play football.
But what's any good story without drama? And now we have the charm of the entire situation. Jarvis Edison, played by Jason Bateman. A lot of you know that name. He's flunking. And if he flunks, his father is a major booster and a very wealthy man. And he'll just buy his grade. Which will put the team and the school back in hot water with the NCAA. Well, we've got a problem. <clears throat> At this point, Paul Blake's quit. Jason Bateman's going to quit. Or I'm sorry, Jarvis Edison is going to quit as well. Both for different reasons, but they're going to quit the team. But now they return back to school. And Mr. Edison, well, he's going to get tutored. And tutored he is. And his grades come up. Now we're down to the final game of the year. Against the rivals. Well, those Texas Colts, they're in for a surprise. And they're in for a game. Because this team, the Armadillas, has come together as a team. And working together, they have become, well, they're definitely the underdogs. Probably going to lose, but they're a team and they'll put up some fight. So who won the football game? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. It's a fun movie. It's really could fall into that 80s genre of just it knew what it was, didn't try to be anything else, and it was a fun movie. The cast, they did really good. Kathy Ireland was in it. That got every young man into the movie theaters. I think their dads, too. Scott Bakula, well, he's not done bad for himself. Jason Bateman, well, okay. Um, you know... We had some good fun in this show. It's one that I would be happy to say you need to watch it more often. Just fun. So, until next time, hope you all have a wonderful evening. And I'd say go watch this one.